This is the first in a series of videos that demonstrate how to do some of the problems on the homework for Section A2. Section A2 is one of the most difficult sections in this course, and I thought it might be useful for us to go over how to do a few of these problems. First of all is this type of problem, where you are given the graph of a quadratic equation. Now remember, quadratic equations have the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And in this section, this is written in function notation as ax squared plus bx plus c equals f of x. Now, you are given a graph of the quadratic equation. And the shape of the graph of a quadratic equation is called a parabola. You'll notice that one of the questions you're asked is the x-intercepts. And this is where you intersect the x-axis. You should be able to just read these off the graph. This one here is clearly 5 and written as a ordered pair, ordered pair. That's 5, 0. And this one here is negative 1, and that's a negative 1, 0. Now, WebAssign will ask you to enter these in as ordered pairs, and it will ask you to enter them with the smaller x value and the larger x value. So if this were your web sign right here, the smaller x value in this case is negative 1, 0, and the larger x value is 5, 0. The next question is the y-intercept. And again, you should be able to read that off. In this case, this is clearly where it intersects the y-axis. And that ordered pair is x equals 0, y equals minus 5. So, in web sign, you would enter x equals 0, y equals minus 5. Now the question of the vertex. The vertex is kind of the turnaround point of the parabola. It's either the very minimum point, as it is here, or for a parabola going in the other direction, it's the maximum point. Now, one property of parabolas is that they are symmetric. If you notice here, it's almost as if you drew a line right here, and this right here, if you do this line right here, this line would cut this parabola exactly in half. That line is called the axis of symmetry. And it's a vertical line, and you might remember from Math 93 that vertical lines have the equation x equals. The question is, what is this point? Most of the time, you'll be able to read it off like you can here, x equals 2. But sometimes, it's a little more difficult. What it is, is the midpoint between these two points. And all you have to do there is take the x values, which are negative 1 and 5, add them together, that's going to give you 4, and then divide by 2, and that will give you 2. So if it's difficult to read what these are, you sometimes have to do that. So my axis of symmetry is x equals 2. Now that gives us an idea of what the vertex is. The vertex, again, is this turnaround point, this maximum or minimum. In this case, the vertex is right here. And the x-coordinate of the vertex and the equation of the axis of symmetry are exactly the same. So the x-coordinate is 2. The y-coordinate, in this case, I can pretty easily read it off as negative 9. But again, in some examples, it may not be so easy to read. So what you can do is you can replace 2 for x in the equation, and that will give you the y-coordinate. For example, our equation is f of x equals x squared minus 4x minus 5. If I replace 2 for x, I get 2 squared minus 4 times 2 minus 5. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So 4 minus 8 minus 5, if you do the math, that's minus 9. So in either case, you can get the coordinates of the vertex. So I will write that one down, too, just like I would in WebAssign, 2 minus 9. 
Now what about the range? The range is the set of output values. In other words, it's the set of the values of y that are actually used on the graph. Since this is the smallest value, right here, at negative 9, we can see that the values of y are y is larger than or equal to negative 9. So I could say the range is y is greater than or equal to negative 9. Now, one other question that it will ask you is where is it increasing and where is it decreasing? Increasing means as you move from left to right, the graph is rising. It's pretty clear that from this point on, the graph is rising. And when they ask you where is it increasing, they're looking for the values of x. So I could say it's increasing from this value, x equals 2, and you're larger than 2. When you're larger than 2, when x is larger than 2, the graph is increasing. So we say x is larger than 2. Decreasing is the opposite of that. That means as you move from left to right on the x-axis, the values of the graph are going down. It's clearly decreasing until we reach this point 2. So we would say it's decreasing from x is less than 2. So I'm going to add those values in here. The range was y is greater than or equal to negative 9. It's increasing from x is greater than 2 and decreasing from x is less than 2. Now, I'm going to give you another problem to look at. I'd like you, after you look at this, to pause the video and try to find all of these values. The x-intercepts, the y-intercepts, the axis of symmetry, the vertex, the range, and where it's increasing and decreasing. Then, when you're ready, you can hit play on the video, and I'll do a solution for you. Here is your equation. So you might want to hit pause now. If you're ready for the solution, here they are. The x-intercepts are 5, 0 and negative 3, 0. The y-intercept is clearly 0, negative 15. The axis of symmetry, therefore, is in between, halfway between 5 and negative 3. If I have to do that by hand, I'll do 5 plus negative 3, which is 2, and divide it by 2, and that gives me 1. Of course, in this case, I can just see it from my graph. But there are some examples on the homework where you might not be able to see it, but your axis of symmetry is x equals 1, halfway in between. That means the vertex, the x-coordinate of the vertex, is 1. And the y-coordinate of the vertex, again, in this example, I can just read it. But in some examples, you may have to actually plug this in. Your equation is x squared minus 2x minus 15. I'm going to say f of 1 just to show you how to do that is 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 15. That gives you 1 minus 2 minus 15. If you do the arithmetic, that gives you minus 16, which is the y-coordinate of that point. That means the range is from minus 16 up. So your range is y is greater than or equal to minus 16. And what about increasing and decreasing? Clearly looking at the graph, moving left to right on the x-axis, the function is increasing from this point onward. So it's increasing for x is greater than 1. And it's decreasing for x is less than 1. I hope this helps you solve some of these parabola problems on your homework. Remember, you can always practice another version. My only other hint for you is sometimes you have to guess at one of these points. I would try one-half or one-fourth or three-quarters. It's usually one of those examples if it's not directly on one of the numbers. Good luck, and I hope this video was helpful.